Hey everyone, welcome to the Orange Den Garage. We are again at an undisclosed location and we are going to see something special today. Um, it might not be in the greatest shape, but it's still a legendary car. It's, uh, you know, goes back to some heyday for a certain company. Are we gonna, are we just gonna wait to turn the camera around, Eric? Yeah, it's famous for back in the day when they ran at one several rally championships uh take it on subaru head to head if that gives any clues man, it's a rival of subaru all you subaru owners know exactly what we're talking about they, they kind of don't like what we're talking about because you know subarus subaru lovers you know but for this certain brand that's also japanese which i'm pretty sure you guys know what it is now yeah well it's, it's definitely, a legend. It, it was not what we thought we would find, especially this uh, this gen and this edition of this vehicle. And the fact that we found it in this huge lot, we never really thought we'd see one. And I can't believe that it's sitting here yeah. just collecting pollen and dust. Was there some way that we could free it and, uh, you know, re make it happen you know As a fix it up a bit refurbish it, it definitely has got some damages here and there so, you wouldn't think that a car that's only like five years old you'd have to refurbish but this one it needs it the la the previous owner obviously didn't take you know no, it, care it, of it it, it has some serious signs of abuse so without further ado we're gonna flip this camera around do our uh a take on how we feel about this certain vehicle and you know, if we could find a way to free it from here, we would. We would, definitely we would. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so like we are alluding to, you know, Mitsubishi. This is a Evo, that is the final edition. Yeah, and 10 Gen Evo, final edition in red. I guess red. I don't know. What do you think? It's like a. It's a. It's like it's Mitsubishi's classic red. Like it's. You guys know Mitsubishi is falling off the cliff as far as becoming uh, losing their performance brand capability and doing a bunch of crossovers and nothing that is fast and fun. It's very sad. Um, there's rumblings that Evo might come back. It better not come back as an SUV like the eclipse did and um that would be the worst decision they could do they might as well just fold it up like this was the heyday this was what everybody wanted in the 90s and the early 2000s they wanted a mitsubishi because they were youthful fun turbocharged manual this of course the evo is all-wheel drive like it was a perfect car and you could do so much tuning to and it made a lot of, like we were talking about earlier, Subaru fans jealous of it. And it made Subaru jealous of it. And it made Subaru become even a better company because of it. So to see this one in not the greatest shape is very sad, but it still turns on. And as you guys can see, it has the, the turbocharged Myvec. Mitsubishi corporate motor motor here it has a Lancer Evolution strut bar across. See the intercooler intake. That's a K and N aftermarket. That's some yeah, that's the last owner aftermarket. installed. But the motor and engine bay look like it's in pretty good shape. So there's I don't think mechanically there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, definitely, it's more exterior damage than anything. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can see the, the front lip here is uh, damaged. Yeah, it's coming off. It's starting to peel off right here. It's cracked right here. The grease pump. The car is misaligned. There's a huge gap here. Yeah, they um looks like they lowered this car and they didn't know how to drive a lower car and they rubbed it up on quite a few items. Scrapage here. It's got scrapes all over the bumper on the lip. The tire is definitely flat. Curb rash. The side skirt is broken here. 
Uh, so yeah, it still has the factory Brembo set here. Um, but Looks like it has aftermarket rotors too. But the rotors are looking in not too great a shape. The wheel is curb rashed. This is what we're saying, guys. Like it's sad to see uh, the last edition. It's got damage right here. Well, look at this. It's, it's definitely been hit on this door by the paint and the dent. It's, it's huge. Yeah. It's just sad to see the last edition, the final edition of an Evo. And curb rash wheels. You guys can see that. This thing was used by its previous owner. It's very um. It's got Unfortunately, the well, so. not sure what brand it is. Can't tell. It's got a pretty large tip to it, though. It's got parking sensors, um, all-wheel control, which is uh, Mitsubishi's all-wheel drive system. You got to see that it has a pedal pedestal spoiler, but like the like we're saying, like the damage is like look at this side skirt, rust now, rust. And this is only a 15 and it already has rust because this person abused it and it's it's not it's <laughs> the wiper blade is broken the wiper blade is broken too oh yeah snapped off but overall it's definitely able to be fixed i definitely think it can be fixed it's yeah, got it's it only has twenty eight thousand miles on it um it starts and everything but you know just to see it uh evo up close is really cool to see one that is this special of a car that's going to be a collector's car in the future and this shape is really just like breaks our heart like this is the pinnacle of performance that you you know a lot of people especially um tuner people or whatever that love all different types of tuner cars and tuner fans like this is a, a unique car and it i i don't know how to say it but i i don't know how you could beat a car like this like it's i don't understand how you could beat a car like this when it's this level of special like i don't know yeah like how, how are you gonna own the final edition evo that's going to be the last production evo ever for who knows how long we don't really know if maybe they'll make a comeback maybe they won't but to have a final edition evo and to abuse it this badly come on this is a collector car this would worth be worth more now it's worth more now than any sti yeah except for like maybe the new ones because they're new but what the point is this is a collector car you should be keeping it safe preserving it and then and when you do drive it obviously be smart about it don't abuse it because this thing is worth more now than it did when it came out uh five years ago for its final production it, just imagine everyone if if mitsubishi never comes out with an evo this car hits 20 years old it gets to 20 years old how much this car is going to be worth if it was in good shape and great shape whatever like it would be worth probably double what the sticker price was to begin with at least double like look at the Supras, even non-turbo Supras are worth 70, 80 grand. Mm -hmm. So just imagine if this had been uh, preserved and kept uh, clean and safe 20 years from now, it'd be worth just as much. Yeah. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna start it up so you guys can get it, uh, hear how it sounds with this uh, exhaust on them. Let's see if it has a good rumble to it. sound baby you see this diffuser it's pretty cool um it has uh burnt tips for the exhaust probably like a four inch tip on both sides um eric's just letting it cool up uh, uh warm up because you know it's turbocharged so we don't want to damage it it's so lovely to hear it start up and um that that makes me happy that this, like this car starts that it has still has life it still has a chance to come back and i hope that whoever gets this car ends up uh, you know taking care of it and getting it back to its heyday and it doesn't just beat on it more like it already is i definitely would like to restore it if i could they're gonna give it a rev 
you guys saw that was a cold start and it obviously hasn't been started in a while There's no black smoke or anything coming out yet so that's good that's a good sign the motor is still in good shape such a beauty. You can hear that turbo spool up. <laughs> oh my god. She's alive! Wow, Eric. Wow! check engine lights or anything? No. Whoa. This car is able, it's fully functional people. It's no fully lights. functional. No lights of any kind. It's such a beauty. Oh, I would buy this if I could. I would do it. I wish I knew how. It would be nice. Drive off the lot with this bad boy. Just gotta do some more. I mean, all, that was. probably just take off the side skirts and get new ones and do the body work down here. Like Cut that rust out and um, re put new, uh, maybe have to do a whole, probably just maybe replace the quarter panel because it has some, some dents there. So I might, I would probably just replace the quarter all the way because of the rust and seeing that damage. Oh, this is a project that I would love to take on. You guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, turn on the notifications for us and stuff like that so that we can bring cars like this to the channel. We would love to bring something like this to the channel, rebuild a car. Um, that's what we want to do. That's down the road, like with our channel, we want to start, you know, building cars that, you know, deserve to be rebuilt. This is a car that deserves to be rebuilt and get back to its heyday. So, um, but that's, I guess that's about wraps it up for this Evo. Um, I hope you guys are excited to see a final edition. If you've never seen, um, one like in the flesh because this is the first time i've seen one this close and um yeah, it's great final edition until we, we came here the other day yeah we know at first glance i thought this was just a regular evo and then when we were doing the uh, videos on some of the other vehicles up here we decided to show walk around take a look at this uh the whole lot and then when we found this, we didn't realize it was a final edition until we got close. So it's crazy to, uh, to find this car just sitting here collecting pollen, dust, and rusting away. Yeah, it's, I wonder, I mean, we didn't, we're not sure how long it's been here. It's saying, I think, since March, but it could be longer. Um, let's see if we can see the name plate real quick before we uh, close out. Let's see, it's special edition plate. What we got here? Wow, number 459. It is like one of literally the last ones made, people. It even has Lancer Evolution Final Edition floor mats, which is pretty freaking, that is sick. That is freaking sick. Like, they really tried to show off how special it is. And, ugh, it's just sad. It's sad. But... We will be getting cars like this eventually on the channel and we are going to start rebuilding them. It's not that difficult to rebuild stuff like this. It's not, you know, it's not crazy damage, but it's enough damage where you have to put money into it to get it fixed. So, um, yeah. So you want to close it out for us here? Yeah, I can't believe we found an, a final edition Evo in this place and uh, hit that like button. Drop down a comment, let us know what you think about the SIBO, what you think about 
the final edition evo or anything about the, the mitsubishi brain honestly and just tell us what you like about the car what you hate about it if you're a subi fan because we all know subi fans don't like evos yeah and uh yeah just follow us on facebook instagram and i think that's about it right that's a Facebook and Instagram are our own ones. Yeah, yeah that's our two. Yeah, so follow us on Facebook, Instagram. The Orange Den Garage is uh, the, the name for both of those pages as well, so it's yep. easy to find. Yep. And uh, like always, ladies and gentlemen, what we try to do here in the Orange Den Garage is envision our dreams. So help us out. Maybe we can find a good home for this Evo. Who knows? But uh, hit that like button. Let us know what you thought subscribe and hit those notifications for future videos take care everybody all right see you guys later and uh one more shot of the evo what's up ladies and gentlemen so after we were talking about the evo like as soon as we ended the video i decided uh, why not take a look to see how much a final edition evo roughly costs now and i finally found one and it's the final edition evo is now worth six figures. I found one worth $125,000. That is incredible. That is crazy. So the fact that the person that used to own this lost and destroyed their Evo, they're dumb. They they're made a huge dumb. They made a huge mistake. mistake. This is car is now worth six digits. Like we will show you guys the proof of it because we took a screenshot of the website that has the Evo final edition yep. um, with that price. So we will pop that picture in here. And um, yeah, that is that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. The car's only five years old. It's already it's, worth that much, bro. Only oh only uh, the six the six cylinder turbo Supra is worth six digits, yep. and that's twenty years old. This is only five years old and it's already worth six digits that is crazy it goes to show you how much the final edition evo cost and it shows it, you not even that this owner made a mistake but mitsubishi made another big mistake that they are getting away from performance branded vehicles don't know what they're doing like don't know what they're doing don't understand what they're doing like first it was the eclipse then they got rid of the galant you're talking about two of those those two cars are both uh, one tuner, one was a rally car. Then the Lancer hung on. It hung on until 2015. And then they decided, oh, no more of this either. No more Evo. No more. Mitsubishi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, obviously, you guys had a great product that everybody wanted. And now you just like, you like forgot everybody. You're a 100 year old company. Yes, I'm bashing Mitsubishi right now. This is pitiful. Pitiful. But now, since this is the final edition, you see that it's worth $100,000 plus is incredible. And that shows that Mitsubishi made something that was great. It's yeah. like, it, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to give you a quick update after the few seconds we ended the video. So take care, everybody.